Hey everybody, and welcome to this video about uh, how you can make uh, terrain inside Unity and how we can put on textures to make it look nice and finally how we can put in a first person controller to walk around in our world. First of all, we need to make a new project and I've started up Unity and we need to give it a project name uh, New World could be a, uh, a good name for this. Create project. And then Unity is going to load up a new project for us. Uh, like here. Very nice. Oh, we need to maximize this. And then we can see that uh, we don't really have much in our world here. We basically just have a camera and a directional light. And first of all, we need to make, in order to make this, this terrain, we need to make uh, basically a terrain uh, 3D object. So we can right click on in the hierarchy and select 3D object. And then we go inside here and select terrain. And now Unity is going to create this huge uh, square, humongous place here uh, that we can use to uh, to make a terrain up now this is uh, this is just uh, white in the beginning uh, but we can easily put uh, put a texture on this uh, so we have an object over here and if we go inside the inspector up here in the upper right corner we can see we have some different uh, some different uh, options here that we can select. We have an option to to raise the level to make mountains. Uh, we can also paint it. Uh, we can actually also plant trees. And uh, this symbol here is the one we're interested in right now. Uh, with this tool here, we can make a texture. Uh, we can go in and add a texture. Then we can see we need to assign uh, some image, some texture. And right now we don't really have any textures that may fit uh, a good terrain. So luckily we do have an asset store. Uh, up here we can go in there and search for terrain textures. And I'm going to select free only. There's a lot of stuff coming up over here. We can see one here. Outdoor ground textures. If we click on that, we have some free outdoor ground textures. So I'm going to import this. And now Unity is going to decompress and get all the materials for us. We can see we have a lot of them here. So we're going to mark everything. And and we will click import. All right. All right. So now we, uh, Unity have imported our um, our outdoor ground textures. Uh, we can go back to the scene here, so we can s see that the uh, the terrain is still white. It doesn't have any textures on it. Uh, we can see the new textures in the project view down here we have all the textures uh, a lot of different textures to choose from so we go back here and select edit textures and add a new texture and this window pops up and we need to select a texture and now we can see we have uh, some more different textures to choose from um, and if we scroll down here we have a lot of different textures that we can use. So this is basically to choose something that you think looks very good for this project. Um, let's just take one. Let's take this one here. Then let's double click and now we can see it has selected this texture and we can go for add. So now we have a texture on our terrain. 
covers the entire terrain. We are also able to um, to actually draw uh, spots to make certain changes on our terrain. Uh, if we want to have another texture, we can put in uh, an extra texture. If we want to make some small changes, let's take this one here. So now we have two textures over here, and we can select this one here. And then we have different brushes uh, that we can use uh, to apply uh, our own look on this terrain. And down here in the settings, we have various settings for the brush, the brush size and the opacity uh, and some other things. So if we use this click with the mouse, we can make uh, variations in the terrain. And this, this terrain is very, very big. Uh, so even though it looks a little bit uh, like normal painting, it's going to be okay when you uh, when you see this terrain. Um, okay, this was about textures on uh, on a terrain. Uh, I'm going to zoom in a little bit on this terrain. Uh, let's move this a little bit. Yeah, here we have it. Uh, Obviously, when we're making a terrain, it could be interesting to also make a little leveling uh, mountains, or uh, so that we don't have the same level all over the all over our terrain. Uh, we also have a button for that, which is over here. This leveling up button, where we can uh, make mountains, where we can make hills, uh, and again, we have these brushes that will allow us to uh, to elevate this terrain a little bit. So if I click on the on the level here, you can see I'm making small mountains. We can use some other brushes to make more even mountains here. Now we can see our terrain is actually coming to real. Um, should we choose a star mountain? No, maybe not. <laughs> Yeah, uh, let's have a higher opacity. It's gonna do a little bit more. Oh, that was a big mountain there. All right. So now we've made a little uh, leveling in our uh, in our terrain. Uh, this could be very interesting if we could actually walk around down there. If we could see this world from a first-person character. Uh, this is also possible, of course, and it is very, very easy in Unity to do such a thing. But we can see here we have the main camera, uh, which is not really shooting uh, at a good angle. We got some directional light, uh, and we have a terrain. We need to put in a first-person character. This we can do from the Asset Store or the Asset Menu, where we choose import package and characters we click on that and then we get a lot of new options here we have the first person character where we have a nice um, a nice prefab FPS controller that we can uh, insert uh, and some other stuff so we're going to choose everything and select import and now Unity is going to import this, and I will be back when it is all imported. All right, we are back again. We got the new um, the new first person controller imported into our project. Now we can see underneath we got the textures that we imported just previously, and we have standard asset. And this is a bunch of standard things that comes with Unity that we can import. We have uh, characters, we have some editor materials, uh, physics, uh, utility. Uh, we are interested in the characters. So if we click on this, you can see we have a first person character. And we have, if we expand this one, we have prefabs. And there we can see the FPS controller with a lot of settings over here. So basically, I'm just gonna.
select it and drag it into my hierarchy. All right. So now we have a first person uh, controller in our terrain. Maybe we should change the location of this uh, first person character so that we are actually starting uh, where the mountain is and where the actual terrain is so that we can walk around in there. So I'm going to drag in these gizmos uh, to place it inside of the mountains. Maybe here. Yep. All right, we can try out this. Uh, this is very easy now, people. We can just try out the the terrain. We can click on this play button here and we have a working terrain and a first person character. You can see I can walk around, I can run, I can jump. This is kind of funny mountains, right? All right. A fully working world where we can um, we can walk around and we can put in we can put in stuff put in 3d models and work with them and again people if we want to change the terrain if we want to change the textures it's no big deal it's just to go into this painting um, symbol here and we can have a new texture if we want to we can edit this texture and say edit texture and then we can go inside and select a new one and actually i'm able just to to use my arrow keys arrow down keys to select uh, a lot of different textures um, maybe this one is better apply and then we have a new terrain to walk around in world all right people thank you very much for watching this video bye bye